Hi, I'm Brian Gluckstein, and I'm so excited to give you a tour of the Oakville show home. You know, the house is on a corner and it's great because we have so much light in the house. And the design of the house is a red brick Georgian. It's actually a story and a half from the front and two stories in the back. So it is a great scale for the neighborhood. When you come into the front door, you have glass doors with iron grills on them and you're greeted by this intimate foyer with a very dramatic floor pattern that we cut out of Caesar stone. But I think the wow factor is looking straight through and I love designing houses where you see right through the house and you look through to the family room out to this incredible tree. And the house is a, a more formal layout. So we have a dining room on one side and a living room on the other. The living room really, I think, is a showstopper, and I love the color. It's really about this monochromatic color scheme of this soft, minty blue. So we have a carpet that was the beginning of the color, though really it was a dress that I saw in Vogue magazine that inspired me. And architecturally, we made it quite traditional. So we have traditional raised paneling, but what I did was curve the corners of the room. That's not an easy thing to do because these big panels have to be curved, but it creates this beautiful architectural detail to the room. And then I created two seating areas where we custom made sofas that fit into the curve and this wonderful gilded table in one corner and a baby grand piano. Now opposite the foyer from the living room is the dining room and it brings in a similar color. Now what's wonderful about this space also is we have windows on two sides from floor to ceiling so it's a very bright space. The wallpaper brings in some of the blue from the living room as does the drapery but I think the showstopper in this room is the ceiling. It's actually a stretched shiny canvas that we put on the ceiling and it looks like a lacquered ceiling. So it reflects all the light and will be beautiful at night when the chandelier is on and the candles are going. Now opposite the front door, I was saying about that view, we have a two-story family room that's paneled in this ceruced oak. Again, same paneling as the living room, but we did it in a wood stain. So the living room is a painted and this is a stain. And we have our signature railing that goes through the house around here and then the black that defines the second floor from the first floor. It has bookshelves on the second floor, so there's a library up there and a really relaxed seating area. And I love the fact that the windows are black. It really adds drama to the space. And it, it defines the room, defines the window, and you'll see black accents from coffee tables, end tables, and these steel doors. Now the steel doors on either side of the fireplace lead into the library, which is a cozier, darker room with a see-through fireplace. What we did was use a glass desk there because it's in front of the window and we wanted to be light and airy. On the other side of the family room is the chef's kitchen and I love the kitchen. We use a soft blue for the cabinetry and the breakfast room I think is so fantastic because it's also got floor to ceiling windows and a walk out to the terrace. We have an area in the breakfast room with cabinetry and a countertop and a sink, perfect place for a toaster, a coffee maker, a milkshake machine, that's really great for the, the breakfast room. And then we have a wonderful working area where you have a huge island, lots of counter space in this big oven. I used bronze mirror as the backsplash, part of the backsplash because I did Caesar stone up to a certain height and then bronze mirror with open shelves. And when you're looking from the family room into the kitchen, it opens up the space and the bronze mirror just softens the mirror. Now, one of the things I did that was not so easy was the stonework on the island. We've defined the eating area by doing this raised backsplash for the counter stools. And that stops the water from the sink from running into that area when you're eating. So it's not only beautiful, but practical. Between the kitchen and the dining room is this fantastic pantry. Now, in the original design, we had the landing of the staircase go right to the wall. But I thought when we were planning it, why not pull back the landing and create a two-story space? So we have a two-story window, and the servery has lots of storage, but it's great to use as a bar also. So again, great for entertaining. Now behind the kitchen, we have a great mudroom. Lots of built-ins, it opens from the garage on the outside, and one of the fun things is we have an area where there's a doggy wash. So it's a raised shower, you can wash the dogs, you can do flowers, you can clean things, so it's really a multi-purpose space. Up on the second floor, instead of a hallway, we have this bridge that connects some bedrooms from the other bedrooms, and that looks down into the two-story family room. 
And I like to do that because I don't really like dark hallways. I like open space. So when you're up on the second level, you really have all the space from this two-story window and the second-story library. The major space on the second level is the principal bedroom. It really is a whole suite onto itself. When you walk into the foyer, we have this beautiful makeup area with mirrored cabinets and a makeup table. To the right, you have a dressing room and you go through the dressing room to the principal bathroom. And I think there are a lot of features in here, but one of the major features is the carved plaster wall behind the tub. It's all leaves and flowers coming down. The vanity is a showstopper too, because it's completely covered in Caesar stone. So the drawers and drawers and that thick counter make a very dramatic vanity. The walls in that space are curved also, and it keeps the theme that we had in the living room. But the real space in there is the bedroom area with that almost two-story bedroom. And when we're designing spaces on the second floor, I like to take advantage of the attic. So why not carve into that space while we're building and create that dramatic ceiling? The bedroom has a very patterned carpet, a beautiful traditional carpet, and a, a clean, contemporary feel to the furniture. So it really is an oasis on the second floor. Also on the second floor, we have three other bedrooms. We have a nursery, we have a serene bedroom. They're joined by this wonderful shared bathroom. And we're able to get a lot of space because we push the dormer out. So we have a window seat, almost a seating area, with two separate vanities and a toilet compartment and a shower compartment. We also have another bedroom with its own bathroom, which we did penny tiles, little round tiles, and we did it in stripes. We had fun with the vanity where we painted it multicolors and we did a bunk bed, but not the normal bunk bed, not a high bunk bed, a very low bunk bed. And we took the lower mattress off and made it a play area, but you can still put the mattress back. So this is a wonderful second floor because there's so many interesting areas. When we go down to the lower level, I think the wow is the light that you have down there. So as soon as you walk down the stairs, you look straight through and you see the sunken courtyard. And that's something I love to do. I like lots of natural light in the lower level. So what we did was we created this sunken garden that has a terrace garden all the way up in stairs up to the main garden. And this is a great space. We've got a sofa to hang out. It's actually a lovely space, even on windy days, because it's very uh, shielded by the garden. But it creates you know, a really special space down there. You don't feel like you're on a lower level. You feel like you're on the main floor. So the main area has a TV area and this wonderful bar where we have pictures of Studio 54. And we did a carpet of tile where we cut Caesar stone into this really interesting pattern and we have bar stools. We have a games table and then we have an area where you can do homework or projects and it has the three LG computers. On the lower level, there's this really dramatic laundry room. And it's not just a laundry room, it's a multi-purpose space. I did this huge island with the Caesar stone countertop. And that's great because not just for laundry, but for doing crafts and painting and glue guns and things like that, it's indestructible. We did a side-by-side -side washer dryer that's built into the wall of cabinetry that has glass doors, great place to put linens. But one thing that I love about this washer dryer is the dryer is on a pedestal with storage underneath for your soaps. The washer has a pedestal with another washing machine underneath it. So when you pull the drawer out, there's a little washing machine for small loads. We have a big farmer sink and then we have open shelving to hang shirts and things that have been ironed or drip dry, baskets for crafts. There's a lot to use this room for. We have a gym that actually has a climbing wall, yoga area, you can do weights in there, and it's got glass doors that allows all the light in. But one of the really dramatic spaces down there is the theater, and it has this amazing ceiling that looks like stars that are moving and shooting across the ceiling. The walls are upholstered and we have a multi-level area, so this is really an experience, this space. And also on the lower level, we have a guest room, which is a great space, big window, beautiful furniture, a large size, and a lot of privacy for the guests. On the main level, one of the great spaces is the outdoor garden. So we can go from the family room or the kitchen out to the garden, and we have multiple seating areas. So we have loungers by the pool with these huge oversized umbrellas, this very big dining area, I think there's 10 to 12 chairs, and another conversation area with a sofa and chairs. So there's a lot of areas to spend time in, 
and the pool and the lawn for the kids to play and then access to the sunken garden. So throughout this house, there are so many interesting spaces. I don't know, even know where to start to decide which is my favorite, but the house I think is really a showstopper and I, I hope you enjoyed the tour.